Rick, good morning. Hey. You are known for getting uh, quick and accurate answers for our partners. That's uh, something that um, uh, everybody within our group and certainly all the, all the customers that we work with, end users, integrators, distributors, they all um, know your name because you're very quick and accurate at getting parts lists together for them. And um, everyone appreciates that. Can you share the four online tools that you use? Now, these are DIY tools that they could actually use if, if they didn't engage you, right? Um, so can you show us the four tools that they could download if they wanted to, to select the correct part number and, and if necessary, the, the, um, you know, the right mounting, the right accessories for those cameras? Can you share that information with everybody? Yeah, absolutely. And good morning. Nice to see you, Matt. Uh, yeah, these are tools I use all the time and they're very easy to use. Uh, and they're, they're great. They just show everything, uh, every detail of a camera, every detail of a mount that you need. Uh, so let's just go ahead and I'll show you what I use. All right. Uh, so first we're going to want to go to us.boshsecurity.com. This will take us to the North American version of Bosch's security website. Okay. And in here under the top tab, you'll see support. Highlight that. Bring it over to tools, apps and tools. I go to this page all the time. It's got some great tools in here, uh, but there's a few I'd like to show you today. I'll scroll down. The first one is the video product selector tool. So go ahead and click on that. Click on the online tool. And it first brings up IP cameras and IP recording. For IP recording, I would suggest just contacting us. There's um, a lot of variables in there. You can go ahead and take a look in there if you'd like, but we do suggest you contact us for the recording part. But for cameras, there's so many different options. You, you need to go in here and maybe just look around, see what you got available for you. So for example, um, a lot of times I'll be asked, well, first let's start by saying, on this left side is your tree of all the different options. If you wanna narrow down what you're looking for, uh, you'll see with nothing selected, you've got 118 products. So we wanna, we wanna dial that down a little bit, see what we wanna find for ourselves. Uh, so sometimes I get asked, well, what camera has a built-in microphone? So you can go ahead and select that option. Now we're down to 41. Uh, you might want that to have a built-in microphone and also be hybrid, let's say. So it has an analog and IP output. Now you see we've got it down to 12. But you might be saying to yourself, well, what's the difference between this one? It looks just like that one. And it looks just like that one. Well, what we can do here is compare that camera, compare that camera, and let's compare that one. And I believe you can do up to five. Uh, but once you've selected the ones you're, you're narrowed down to, you're, now you're down to three. So they all look the same. They all have built-in microphones. They all have, they're all hybrid. Uh, so you know these are the cameras that have the feature that you want. But what's the difference between the three? We can compare those three products by selecting that. And now you'll see there's differences um, you know, selected side by side, so you can see what has what. For example, this one's a 1080p, and this one's five megapixel, and this is also 1080p. But you also see the differences in the Y dynamic range. So what you can now do here is, if you'd like, go ahead and select PDF, download that for something you could share or send to somebody or have uh, in your folder as, as these are the three that I selected, and these are all the differences. Okay. So this tool that you're showing us is not something you download. You're literally interacting with it just on the website. That's right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is an online tool. So uh, let's say you've narrowed it down. You want the five megapixel, has a built-in microphone. It's a hybrid. Uh, 120 dB is, is good on the wide dynamic range. So we know we want the Flexidome IP5000 IR. Uh, another tool I'd like to show you is, well, all these cameras have different mounts, right? And what mounts do we use? Now, with, there's different interf interface plates, there's different versions for a wall mount. Do you want a back box or not? So another great tool on this same page, uh, just go over to Video Accessory Quick Selection Guides. Here shows you, uh, there's three different selection guides. The first one is the Mount and Accessory Quick Selection Guide for uh, this will show you all the universal series mounts for fixed cameras. Uh, it also has the Autodom 5000 PTZ. Uh, the second one is for MIC mount selection guides. This will show you all the different mount options for the MIC PTZ camera. 
And the third is for the Autodome 7000 PTZ camera. That's the more premium PTZ camera we usually select. So let's first go ahead and look at the universal selection guide. The, now, Autodome, you is, the Autodome's a bit more common, but the MIC is more ruggedized, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So when you first cl click on that selection guide, uh, it's an online, it's a, it's a live PDF. So what you'll want to do is first download it over here and put it on your desktop wherever you're going to want to use it. Save it. And don't just click here. You'll actually want to open it from your, your desktop PDF where you saved it. So I'm saying challenge. The challenge here is that the the PDF that you're downloading, or, you know, whether it's you or, or, or the customer, is a very um, feature rich PDF. And online, if you run it in online mode, all those features aren't enabled. Correct? Is that that's what you're showing us here? Correct. Yeah. So if we're, if I were to try to use it online, you'll see things are kind of blanked out. It, it just takes a little time. It's something I've noticed. I've I've had calls where people saying, "Well, it's not really working that great for me." Well, and then I have to show them. Yeah, you you'll want to download it. Once you've got it downloaded to your desktop, and open that up, and I'll show you mine here. Now, if you, you we found the Flexidome 5000 was our camera, so we look here. We found it outdoor version. Now you'll see all your options for mounting, and it's important to show because well, wall mount. You've got three different options here. And, you know, if, if somebody just says, "Well, I want a wall mount," well, they're We've got to kind of narrow that down as well, which is great about this tool. We we narrow everything down to the, the part number that you need, everything that you need. So, for example, for wall mounts, you've got this first option. Click on that. It shows you the interface plate you need, shows you the wall mount you need. This is just a basic wall mount where if you can uh, take conduit through the wall, you don't need any surface mount box or anything like that. So this is just a basic wall mount. We can go back and see the other option is a wall mount with surveillance cabinet. So this shows you that interface plate, the wall mount, and that surveillance cabinet. This is for if you wanted to house a fiber module in a NEMA rated box or any other little circuitry that you might need to throw in this box. Uh, and the third option is a pendant wall mount with surface mount box. This gives you this little box here that allows you to run conduit through the side in case you can't penetrate that wall. So you see, even just for a basic wall mount, uh, you've got a few options. And right. it, that can be a little overwhelming unless you've got this tool here. Which well, unless you either have the tool or you have Rick or Katie on the phone, right? right. Yep. <laughs> but, um, you know, truth be told, this is what I use. <laughs> so, Well, it, it certainly ensures that you don't miss, you know, a tiny little part. Um, you know, and that part may not be hundreds of dollars, but when you have your installation team out at the site and you forgot the interface plate to, to connect to the conduit, um, that can be a costly mistake, more so in, in time and manpower. Yeah, absolutely. And there's different interface plates for different cameras, so it's, it's important not only to remember that plate, but to get the right one for the camera. Gotcha. Okay. So um, one online tool to select your camera and three online tools to select all the um, mounts and accessories that you need. Um, as always, uh, you know, follow this guide, download what you need to download, make your choices. Um, but Rick and Katie are always uh, there ready to help. And, and sometimes that's a, a safer bet for making sure that all the parts are there, but also saving you time as the uh, person creating these parts lists, working on these projects. Um, you know, time is money and time is valuable. And if you want us to do it for you, it's no problem at all. Rick and Katie are at the office and um, our team's always happy to help uh, put these projects together for you. So, absolutely, yeah, yeah. These things are called guides for a reason. They're just a guide. So if you just want to see, take a look. Uh, but yeah, if you want to be sure, go ahead and give us a call, and we can talk you through these guides or just tell you exactly what you need. Just um, yeah, give us give us a call. All right, Rick. Thanks. I appreciate you sharing it with everybody. Sure. Thank you, Matt. Good to All see right. you. Bye.